I may have forgot to watch the timer on that last video. So centimeters per grams there. Right, so now, instead of it being direct proportion, I've just got a general linear. So now I've got a C value to think about as well. Uh, so it's a straight line, but it's not directly proportional because it doesn't go through the energy. So a taxi firm has a fixed charge of £3.20. So that fixed charge, and you'll have done questions like this at school, you know where you look at like a phone bill. So that's a £3.20, because these will be bits off GCSE paper to be honest. Uh, plus £1 per mile. Okay, so let's, let's do an equation for it. It goes up by one pound. So that there, if you read it, it's it's price per distance, isn't it? Cost per distance. So that's got to be the gradient because that's cost per distance. So what should we have? Should we have C for cost? Does it tell us? Oh, it says Y and X. Right, go on then. So we'll have Y is equal to one lot of X plus three point two. So I've got my fixed charge. And I've got the rate at which it's used. Even the word rate tells you it's gradient. The rate of increase. There. So write down an equation which describes the situation and hence estimate the cost for a two mile journey. So if x is two, y is one, what two? Plus 3.2, so £5.20. There we go. Right then. What? My word, look at this. So it says uh, interpreting the y intercept. So it might ask you to interpret the y intercept. So the y when x is 0, uh, or if x represents time. So what we say, it tends to be like, like a standard charge. It's when nothing's happened. It's what you pay before you do anything. Um, so that's kind of like that, that one there. It's just kind of stuck there in the middle. But the bottom isn't it, really. I guess it's linked to the £3.20 from the previous one. Right, so we've got limitations of the model now. Um, so it says, so interpolation is inside. So interpolation is inside. So it's inside the data. Extrapolation is outside the data. It's seeing what happens next. There. Now we don't know, so it's a random thing, this, because in reality that's what we do, because we have like data for where we're up to, and we try and predict what happens next based on what we've got. That's what the world does. So the world extrapolates all the time. But we don't because we don't know what's happening next. So we've got to be careful with it. So this is what I want. So these are percentiles for age against something else. What does it say? Does it, is it age against height? Kind of looks like this is height. Because it says age against height. So consider the graph of height versus age for girls age 2 to 20. Uh, could use a linear model to go between 2 and 12. So where's 12 years old? Uh, so age is 10, 12. So about there, isn't it? So you kind of look there, it looks like it could be a straight line. There. But then it kind of tails off. So we could find, think there that maybe that's a straight line. Now we call this piecewise, where we split it into different equations for different sections. So here we go. So could you so use a linear model from two to twelve? However, in the later teen years, the girls reach the full adult height, and the rate of change of growth slows. So a straight line is no longer a good fit. That's right. Wouldn't get a sensible result if we kind of did linear. So if you imagine if we we're predicting somebody who was fifty, then you know potentially they're like seven foot tall. So that's not going to make sense, is it? Right, next page. So there's a, an example here in context. It's quite a big example, but then we've got consolidation after it. So I'm going to try and make sure I get this done. So it says a doctor thinks that the weight of a baby can be modelled as a linear function. Uh, a particular baby weighed 4.1 kilos 
at two weeks and 4.8 at five weeks. Uh, taking W as the weight of the baby, try and find it. Right, okay. So what have I got then? So uh, if this is time in weeks, then this is going to be the weight up here, isn't it? In kilos. So I want the gradient. So I've got so I've got two comma four point one because that's a cross up going to five comma four point eight. So my gradient will be four point eight take four point one over five take two. Now that'll give me the gradient of the line, but it's not going to help me. There is actually another way I can do this. I I could work out a gradient and work it out. What the completed pack has said, hang on, let's make up some equations based on the information I've got. So if I put 2 in, I get 4.1 out. If I put 5 in, I get 4.8 out, which seems a little bit easier. This, 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 you can do it with a straight line, it's the same idea. So anyway, that would give us A as 7 over 30 and B as 109 over 30. I should have actually read what we wrote before I started getting some carried away with it. So W for the weight is 7 over 30 N plus 109 over 30. Right. There we go. So that's my equation for it. Then. B says uh, give an interpretation of the values of A and B. Right. So part B. So A is going to be the gradient, isn't it? So for the gradient, there. So every for every one week, the weight increases. By seven over thirty kg. There. So now if I look at the, the y-intercept, yeah. so that the y-intercept when n is 0 times 0, so that's the initial weight of the baby. Right, so that's A and B done. C says the normal weight of a healthy one-year-old baby is approximately between 10 and 12 kilos. So let's see, that's what happens at one year. So at one year, N is 52 weeks. So the weight is 7 over 30 times 52 plus 109 over 30. So the weight is roughly 15.8 kilos. So that's not good, is it? We've said 10 and 12, but actually we've got 15.8. So our model predicts above the recommended, uh, the normal weight, the normal weight. So ours. Reliable. No. We've actually extrapolated and it's not worked there, hasn't it? We could write that, couldn't we? We've extrapolated. It's getting cold now, actually. I'm downstairs and it's the mock with the first second. Uh, there's nobody in. Right, I'm done. There's some questions on the next page. We'll do them on the next. Questions there as well. We'll do them in the last one. Well done, everybody.